in today's video guys I'm going to show you the best methods on how to fix Modern Warfare 2 from crashing and basically everything which you can apply here directly to your PC in order to prevent this. So guys in the first place what I want you to do is basically go into your Nvidia control panel settings which you can find here on the bottom of your monitor just simply look for the Nvidia logo and then Nvidia control panel and it's only going to take a few seconds until it actually opens up and then we can see here on the left side a ton of options guys and especially under manage 3D settings we're going to click onto it and then now under global settings guys we're going to look for something here in this list which is going to be called shader cache size and it should be somewhere here in the middle kind of we just simply have to look and there we have it shader cache size and you can see mine is right now set to 5 gb usually on stock guys it's even set only to one gigabyte but what you actually want to do in order to give basically your game more shader cache to work with or better set a larger size which is really beneficial for large scale battle royale like warzone 2.0 you gotta put it to at least 10 gigs of shader cache guys just simply switch it over here now and then you can see it's now selected we're gonna click on to apply real quick and just simply wait a few seconds until it's then here fully applied in our nvidia settings and then we're already done here with this first step then the second step guys what we want to do is actually go into a window search bar and just simply type in graphics until we can find the graphics settings themselves and once we're in here now guys we can see graphics settings and there we have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling hear me out guys with some of the latest nvidia drivers actually having hardware accelerated gpu scheduling causes a ton of crashes for a lot of people usually i would always recommend to enable this mode because it really gives you less latency on your system and improves the overall performance as it's already described so therefore for any other game i would highly recommend you to actually leave this on but with the current driver version of nvidia i only can recommend you to actually turn this off a ton of people under one of my latest videos already commented that actually turning this off already fixed all the crashes in modern warfare 2 for them also warzone 2.0 so therefore really make sure to try this one out you know try to switch it off in the first place and then hop into a bunch of games and if it already stopped crashing guys you can see this is already fixed now and now let's continue with the next step now I'm also going to show you some additional settings in your Modern Warfare 2 itself guys and what you want to do is click onto QWERTY and you can now see here guys for upscaling and sharpening I have nothing enabled guys. This is a very specific reason because with the current state of the game guys anything like Nvidia DLSS or Nvidia DLAA is just simply super unstable at the current point guys so therefore I wouldn't really recommend you to use any sort of upscaling methods in the first place. I know a ton of people rely on this in order to get less input delay, better performance, better FPS, all that stuff but with the current driver I really can't recommend you to utilize any of these. Other than that, I would only recommend you to utilize basic anti-aliasing on Filmic SMAA T2X and this is really like the only setting which I would utilize in sort of like anti-aliasing or any sort of like rendering mode applied to my game. This will still help you out to get a sharpened picture itself and as mentioned, would you rather have like a better gaming experience where a game really doesn't crash or a bunch of more FPS but you have to counter crashes every half an hour because that is really frustrating guys if you keep it honestly. Then for the rest of the settings guys you can now see a texture resolution on normal, texture filtering and dystrophic on normal, nearby level of detail on low, distant level of detail on low, cluttered row distance on short, particle quality on low and the particle quality level as well on very low. The only thing which I really like here to have enabled guys is bullet impact space just for the small competitive advantage that you can actually see from where bullets are coming from. Then for the rest you can copy all of my settings guys here especially streaming quality, volumetric quality, basically like light effects and all that stuff everything on the lowest guys are completely turned off. Then for shadow and lighting the same thing guys everything on the lowest are completely turned off so therefore yeah just let me go through the whole entire list disable all of this here super unnecessarily then screen space reflections all that stuff off 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 we don't really need it and the only mode which i really kept on here guys is the nvidia reflex low latency mode which is provenly giving you a lot less input delay while actually playing the game once you copied all of these settings you're set to go guys and your modern warfare 2 should run a lot better and consistent then guys what we want to do in this next step is open up the normal battle.net launcher just simply go into windows search bar type in that battle until you can find battle.net open it up guys and then now under modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 you're gonna click onto the options file and there we have now something like check for updates guys and in there now we have something like scan and repair guys and i would highly recommend you if you have any issues always in the first place try out the built-in launcher repair tool so many people underestimate this but especially for games like call of duty they always try to keep it up to date so therefore if they found any new fixes and issues always make sure to check out this repair tool in the first place guys just simply click now on to begin scan and you can now see here that your modern warfare 2 is being scanned for any issues or errors over the whole entire game files if there are any files they're getting automatically replaced and we're already done with this step as well. If your Modern Warfare 2 is still crashing or you want to see some additional steps make sure to check out the following two videos in the end card where I cover more possibilities on how to fix Modern Warfare 2 from crashing.